YouTube, welcome back to Andy's Vintage Guitars. I'm Andy, and today I've got a 1975 Telecaster bass in original natural finish. This thing's pretty clean, heavy as they're supposed to be. So these bases are made of solid ash, and being a slab, there's definitely some extra meat to it, and that definitely, you know, makes them a bit heavier, but they are one of a kind. Um, so, little history fact about this model. So, when they came out in 1968, this bass had a single coil. So, this was the first reissue ever made by Fender and was supposed to be a reissue of the original Precision Bass model from 51 to 54. So, the Telecaster 51 54P bass had a slab body, had the two settles with two strings per settles, it's just under here, and then had a Telecaster looking headstock as well as a single coil. Um, so that model, that reissue lasted from 69 to 71, and in 72, we started getting this humbucker, AKA mudbucker, all right? So what's the story behind it? Quite simple, Gibson was pumping at the time with the EB models. So they had the EB1, the EB3, the EB0, there was all sorts, and they all had these humbuckers. Some of them, had the, the, like the EB3 had a little smaller humbucker here, or maybe it was a single coil, but like a mini version of it. Um, but as per Fender, they wanted to compete. They wanted to have their own humbucker version. So the P-Bass being an evergreen and a classic model, and, a, and the jazz bass, same story. So they were the flagship. So they didn't want to muck around with those models. So they decided to add the Mudbucker to the Telecaster bass, being a newer model and a reissue. And so that was born. Um, the difference is, of course, in the early models with a single coil, we have a metal plate and a pick guard, a separator. You can actually take that off and you want to have control expo exposed. Where in this bass, it's one solid pick guard, so the pots run right through it with the volume and tone. Then you've got the bar on the side, and then you've got string through, okay? Um, so they do have a three neck joint, three bolts neck joint, um, but yeah, and the bullet, that's one new thing about these bases as well, which we find on jazz bases as well. Uh, yeah, the logo. It's all there. Solid necks, so they well known to have chunky necks, like the original 50s. And yeah, the tone is massive. So the output of this pickup is twice, if not more, of a normal split coil. So they're huge, they have a massive low end, and it's great for country music, blues, and all that sort of style, R&B, or something that needs a really low and thick bass. Um, not your slapper if you want to play too articulated. This one is actually strung with flats and I think we said enough. Let's make some noise.
from Andy and the 1975 Telecaster bass. Thank you so much for coming back, taking time to check my content and listen to these beauties. As usual, you will find it's listed on my reverb and on my website, www.andysvintageguitars.com. Any question, you can reach out through Instagram, my Facebook page, and I will see you next time.